the legend himself, Martin Lawrence, is denying the rumors and the rumblings out there that he had a stroke in a recent interview with Sway in the morning as Martin promotes his number one field, Bad Boys 4. Martin said, there's a rumor out there that I had a stroke, and man, that's totally not true. So I just want to clear that up. But I thank everybody for their concern and love, and just thank you. But Marty's all good. Again, congratulations to Martin Lawrence and Will Smith, the two co-stars of the Bad Boys 4 film produced by Sonny. That thing went over $100 million its opening weekend as the number one film in the country. Congratulations to those dudes, and congratulations to Martin. You know, Will Smith has had so much success at the box office over the years. Martin don't come around that often, and I heard he's about to go do a comedy tour. I'm super happy that Martin's saying his health is, is good, and let me just be frank with you guys. Watching Bad Boys 3, and then I got a gripe with my supporters. I'm about to call y'all out in a second. I went and seen Bad Boys 4 this week. Let me just say this. Martin looked healthier and Bad Boys 4 than he did Bad Boys 3. And I just think um, it's a great thing to see. Martin Lawrence is one of our legends. It don't really get too much more legendary than Martin. He pretty much did it at every spectrum from sitcom to comedy to movies. So I'm happy that Martin's saying he's okay. Hopefully that is the truth. Obviously, people don't owe us any more into their personal lives. I, I do got to gripe with my supporters, though. I'm kind of mad at y'all, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all told me to go out and see that Bad Boys 4 film. And let me start by acknowledging Martin was great in the film. I thought that was the best Martin Lawrence looked in years. All the jokes to me. I think the comedic relief part of it was better than he was in Bad Boys 3, which was the reboot. But overall, though, the Bad Boys 4 story to me was underwhelming. It was predictable. There was not a lot of climactic type of energy in the film i didn't feel the suspense it felt like a ridiculous superhero movie i don't know what you're into i don't watch marvel i don't watch any of that type of stuff i don't need it to be the most realistic thing possible but i did not need to see martin and will killing 10 dudes on one hell now they got the, the son-in-law now he just killed 15 dudes and like one said it, I get it. He was Navy background. I, the film was just unbelievable to me. And the storyline was predictable. There was no swaying to me. There was no, no, no suspense to me. I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't like the film, y'all. I thought it was shot perfection to perfection. I thought Martin looked great. I thought Will looked physically phenomenal, right? Playing the role of, of Mike Lowry. I thought everybody did a good job acting. I just thought the storyline was kind of trash. I'm happy for Will and Martin, the two of my favorites. Will's my favorite of all time. Y'all gassed this film up and had me go to the darn theater in the middle of the week to see this movie. And that was it. Y'all bragging on this movie? Come on, bro. Tyler Perry movies be better than that. I didn't like the film, man. I'm sorry. Martin was funny as hell. The film. I, I'm talking like four out of 10, y'all. I'm sorry, for like four out of 10. Y'all let me know, man. Are y'all sure that was the one, the film? But maybe I was supposed to go see something else. Maybe I was supposed to go see Boys Bad Four or, 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 or Boy Band Five. Or, what in the hell was that storyline? That basic, in the heat of the night, 1980 storyline? Are y'all serious right now? I'm, I'm, I'm very mad at my supporters telling me, Pharaoh, go out and see that film. That wasn't it to me. I'm just being honest. Maybe it's something wrong with me. Cause like, I feel like every movie I go see, I have this same disappointing feel. Maybe my, my expectation for film is not fair. Let me know your thoughts on your boy Pharaoh's reaction to Bad Boys 4. They didn't made enough money. They got my money. Uh, I didn't like the film, no. I didn't. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Time, love, and support is what your boy would never take for granted. Salute. I'm out. If you are like me and love flexing your NBA knowledge, you should head over to the best place to play fantasy sports. That's Underdog Fantasy. For me, I love the pick'em game. It's super simple to play, too. All you got to do is go to the Underdog Fantasy website or app, pick whether a player will have a higher or lower stat line for that game, 
Get all your picks right, and you can win up to 20 times your money. And when you sign up, if you use my code FARO, your deposit will get doubled. You can't beat that. Again, head over to today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy's website or app. Use my code FARO, and your first deposit will get doubled. Do you want to see your favorite athlete live in action next time they're in your town? Or do you want to see your favorite artist performing in concert next time they're in a city near you? Head over to the SeatGeek website or app and use my code HOOPSFARO for $20 off your first purchase. Make sure you subscribe to the Is Mr. Telefero YouTube channel. And hey, donate a super chat. Follow me on Facebook at Is Mr. Telefero. Cop a supporter badge. The Underdog Fantasy promo code is Ferro. The Seat Geek promo code is Hoops Ferro. And follow me on Twitter at It's Mr. Ferro.